when we're writing down what the slope of this is, we are going to compare, which one was red? Was the vertical red? To be consistent, let's okay, draw straight lines. Uh, that's the vertical change. And this is the horizontal change there. I'm just choosing to measure it there. Okay, so that's going up two for every four across. I don't care if you use these symbols, that little triangle, delta, delta x. The change in x is four, let's say that this was in minutes. Four minutes in this situation. For every four minutes that you go across, for every four minutes that go by, how many liters are added there? How much does this represent on that scale? It's two squares, but what does it represent on the scale? Ten, right? Ten liters. 10 liters in, sorry, four minutes. Now I'm not even reading the scale. How many minutes is that? It's not four minutes. It's four spaces, but how much is that actually on here? 20 minutes, right? So let's, I should be consistent here. If this is going to confuse you, the delta X and the delta Y, this changes 20 minutes. It goes up 10 liters. The slope in that case, you can, you probably called slope the rise over the run. The run is just how far across it goes. The rise is how far up or down it goes. If it goes up, the rise is positive. If it goes down, it's negative. The other way you can do it is think of change in Y divided by change in X. How, how much each one's changed. So from this point to this point, the change is 4 across, 2 up. So the slope then is 10 liters divided by 20 minutes, what does that, what does that divide to? 10 divided by 20, what does that give me? 0.5 liters per minute. This represents, this slope represents the rate that that quantity is changing. This amount here, this is starting at 5 liters and it's changing at 0.5 liters per minute. The slope is the rate that it's changing at. So that means I'm, if I was increasing this here, I'm going up at a rate of half a liter every minute. Okay, at a constant rate there of half a liter per minute. If this line were steeper here, okay, if this were steeper like this, then maybe the, then maybe it would be different, right? Then it'd be going faster here. Okay, it'd be changing more at a faster rate. Okay, the, the slope is the rate of change. You should probably write this down here somewhere at the top of that page on a different piece of paper, wherever you like. Okay, the slope, I should give myself more space here. The slope of the line. Okay, the slope of the line is the rate of change in the situation. And the, the units on the slope. Okay, for example here, liters per minute. The units on the slope come from the things you're dividing. Okay, the quantity is being divided. 